Hey everybody, it's Sticky Hamster, and welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect. We're working on our prison. We named our prison Camp Sticky. Just because it's very weird sounding. But anyway, guys, uh, before we get started, I want you to uh, please excuse me for having a fan going. It is really hot in this room. And I'm going to have the fan on probably for uh, this video and for the next video that we cut. And uh, so let's go ahead and load up our game and get going. Right here, Camp Sticky. Uh, uh, Raze the KPM boys in chat, who just prefers to be called Raze, asked, is this going to be a series? Yes, this is. Uh, we've already recorded several videos, and uh, we're going to see how big we can make the prison. Now, one thing that I did to really increase my uh, prison's size is I just added this massive dormitory. These are bunk beds. This will be able to accommodate two prisoners per bed. And I currently have my prison set to accept only, um, here, I'll show you. Inbound prisoners, lots of low risk ones coming. I do have one high risk guy, uh, and I have some normal risk guys. I have some of my cells set only for medium security. These four cells are medium security. These can be for mixed. These are solitary confinement, and we still have to do more research. And we currently have fourteen thousand dollars to spend. Um, it looks like I need to set up a parole office. So let's see what type of uh, grants we can apply to. See if one of the grants happens to have a parole office as one of the requirements. Oh wow! I can probably do this one. I'd hire ten guards. That one's kind of expensive. Let's see here. What will be the best one? The staff well-being. Okay. Um, staff well-being initiative is ten thousand bucks. It's not much though. Uh, I have to build a staff room, have at least five guards without assigned duties, and ensure that none of your staff are exhausted. That can be more expensive, though. Inmate Nutrition Research. An independent research group are offering funds in order to participate in a trial on the effects of varying inmate eating habits. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. That one makes your inmates really angry. Uh, objectives. Serve a single low-quantity, qual low-variety meal for two days. Serve three high-variety, high-quantity meals for two days. Although, $15,000 is really tempting. Oh my gosh. Let me see if I have un health and psychology unlocked. Let's go over here and take a look. Bureaucracy. Health and psychology are unlocked. I can mess with their food for a couple days, man. It's going to cause some problems, but we're going to get 15 grand out of it. I'm tempted. You know what? We're going to do it. We need the cash. Always need to cash. Okay. This is going to make these people so angry. Is there a... Uh, Raise the KPM boys just asked on the video. Is there a grant that requires your inmates to be put in radiation and there's a chance they may mutate and become supervillains? Wouldn't that be cool? You could probably write a mod to do that. Uh, what I was thinking about saying, and I said it yesterday as a joke, uh, I was thinking about uh, putting the shower room uh, in the same room as the generator. That way my prisoners could self-electrocute. Okay, this inmate nutrition service is in uh, process. So we're going to have to uh, make them angry for two days and then happy for two days. And we're going to do this crackdown on drugs. We're going to have to find uh, 10 illegal narcotics, so we need at least 30 prisoners. What's a short-term investment? Oh, that's kind of neat. We'll do that. Okay. That's going to give us some money in the long run. 
Right now, the way that I have my shower set up is I have one big shower room for the entire prison with lots and lots of drains. Over here, I've got my storage room with my workers. Staff room. This right here is solitary confinement. This is a middle security, these four cells. I have one guard stationed in this whole section. Regular cells, dormitory. Uh, we got a yard for the prisoners to ex uh, uh, exercise in. Uh, canteen, this is where they eat. Kitchen, this is where we make the food. Power plant and water pump. Uh, I, do have a f I, I do have a sprinkler in there in case there's a fire. I have a sprinkler in most of the rooms where I think there could be a chance for fire. Reception, this is where we uh, check the prisoners in. Uh, holding cell, this is where we put them until we transfer them to cells. We have kind of like a double airlock in case the, with, with j double door uh, uh, jail doors in case they want to come out. Eventually we're going to be extending the size of the prison a lot. Right now it's all about a matter of money. We have an infirmary for doctors, common room, there's a pool table. Um, this common room is for uh, prisoners so they can go in uh, also get a little bit of R&R &R, uh, during their free time. Visitation, they've been wanting a lot of visitation. I need to build a parole office. So uh, let's see if I've got enough room. About $2,800 is gonna, what I'm going to need to set down a 10 by 10 uh, area. So, um, should I put the parole here? I do want to put it all the way by visitation. I want to put the parole office over here. So let's go ahead and plan out where we're going to put our walls first. I'm a big fan of 10 by 10 rooms, or at least I am with this jail. So that's how we're going to do our walls. Uh, we're going to make this out of uh, brick. Ooh, something's wrong there. It doesn't want to draw it. Uh, cancel, 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 cancel. Uh, I have to click foundations, not walls. Foundations, building brick. There we go. Okay. Now, workers are going to come work on that. And I'm going to put some walls here. Just like this. And I'm going to put a staff door here for right now. Like let's put um, walls there. And I need to put a door there. So, staff door is going to be here and here. And once they complete that foundation, I'm going to designate that as a parole office instead of a parole office. Let's speed this up to where it gets done quicker. Let's check the danger level of our danger level is low. The prisoner's gonna get real angry when I give him crappy food, by the way. So for two days, they're only gonna get one meal. That's gonna be low quality, quantity, low variety meal for two days. Okay, let me pause it again. We got that built in. Now we're going to turn on our utilities here. We're going to run power up to that room. So electrical cable right here. That will give power to the room. And then we're going to go to rooms. And where is parole at? I may have to research that. There's the parole room. Okay. Now what does a parole room require? It requires... Just a visitor, a visitor table. And extra security is advised prisoners have been known to become quite upset when their parole is denied. 
Okay, so do I ha I can go to deployment, guards. I'm gonna assign a guard to that room. Should I assign two? I'm gonna assign a guard to the visitation room. And hopefully one guard is gonna be enough for the poor roll room. And do I have a guard assigned to the dorms? Yes. And for a couple days, I'm going to need to assign a guard to the canteen and the kitchen. Because things are going to get nasty. And let's hire some guards. Okay. Hired five guards. Now, the other thing I need for this poor room, I need to put at least one visitor table. I'm just going to put one. Uh, if I, I wonder if I can process more prisoners if I have two tables. Let's do it like this. There's one, two, three, four. And I'm actually going to assign a second guard to that room. There, so we got two guards in that room. Okay, let's... uh. Turn the uh, unpause the game. Guards are arriving. Workman will hook up the power. Probably a good idea to have this staff door like that in case one of the guys get angry. If they get their parole denied, they're going to be angry. So, nine prisoners are up for parole. That's going to make people happy if they get paroled. 68 hours until uh, we get uh, our investment. Parole office is now open. Let's see what happens when the... It's now about 1 o'clock in the morning. I've only got 2500 bucks, So, we're definitely hoping to get these uh, grants finished soon. And uh, 2 a.m. I do not have a guard uh, stationed in this common room, but I have closed circuit TVs. Any room that I feel like it's probably a big deal for me to have uh, cameras, like this room. There's a lot of people in this room. This is only going to get bigger. These are minimum security prisoners, but when they get angry, they might start causing trouble. They do have a gu one guard in here. Um. Let's go to reports. Do I have a report for happiness? Valuation. Finance. There are four, 14 of them are in queue for spiritual guidance. They want a church. They want like a little chapel. So I'm going to give them a chapel when I can afford to. Policy. Here's the needs right now, my psychologist. They need more uh, hygiene. Hygiene is really bad, so they need more showers. And they also want a laundry, too. But the biggest one, the biggest two, are uh, hygiene and bladder. So these showers are probably not enough. Okay, prison, here comes some prisoners. We're going to get 1500 bucks for that. Um, is parole uh, activated yet? It's still only 6 a.m., so we're not going to get these people in here. Okay, uh, we're going to build another shower room right here. So let's figure out how we're going to lay down the walls with planning. I always like to use this. One, two. That's one, two. Okay, and a 
materials. Make this a concrete wall here. And we're going to put a staff door here. Actually, yeah, I'll put a staff over there. And then I'll, I'll remove it later and, and make it a regular door. Um, staff door means only, obviously, only the people that work for the prison can get in. Then we'll change it to a regular door later, or we'll even remove these two blocks altogether. Okay, let's lay the foundation, too. This will be a concrete foundation. And objects. A door. Uh, it's a great game, and uh, they're going to be coming out with a new version soon. See, prisoners are going in. Oh, by the way, check this out. I should assign a guard here, because there's no... We have no guard. Uh, guards. There. That'll increase the safety for the prisoners a bit. It'll make them a little bit happier. Okay. Now up here... We're going to assign a guard also up here. Oh, I can't do that yet until I have an entrance. Never mind. Objects. Door. And we have to tell it what type of room this is. This is a shower. They're going to continue to work on that. Okay, now I need to put in uh, shower heads and a drain. I want to assign a, with my deployment screen, a guard. Surprised I didn't have a guard there before. Okay, first things first, utilities. I'm going to get power. Find out where our water main runs. Okay, here's our water main. Do I have shower heads on all sides in this one? Okay, I'm gonna just go all the way around it like I did with that one. Okay, now we're gonna run large pipe around it. And we're going to place uh, drains. I've had people tell me you don't need that many drains. I don't care. I kind of like the way it looks. No, they cost 20 bucks a pop. Okay, now we can objects. Let me get the shower heads in here and then we'll open this up. Um, objects. Shower head. Okay. They're coming in and installing that stuff now. Three prisoners have serious complaints. CEO's letter. I've already read that. Eight prisoners are up for parole. Let me see if the parole office is working. It's 8 a.m. 
guessing at 9 a.m. we're gonna get this thing doing. Here's the feeding. So we're at 60% 60, 60 fed. 72, 74. I'm gonna have to build another canteen soon. 88%, 90. Ninety-three. They're only going to get this one meal today, and it's really crappy food, so they're going to start getting ticked off. They get the same thing tomorrow too, and then the next three days, three high variety, high qual quantity meals for two days. Okay, it's not ten a.m. We bring anybody for parole? Here we go. Here we go. Our, uh, janitors here. Well, where are the people coming in for parole? What time do they parole them at? Our parole office is valid, so they should be bringing them here. Is this door messed up? Let me look at this here. Why is there stripes on that door? Well, they're able to use it. My parole office, I'm beginning to wonder if it's bugged. Okay, now once we get all these drains in here, I'm going to attach the, uh, the water. And the prisoners will start using the shower. Oh, it's 1 a.m. again. The day went by so fast I must not have been looking at the parole office during the time, proper time of day. I wonder if I should uh, take one of my officers and have him patrol this area. Anyway, I can remove some items. Let's remove some items right here. I'm probably not going to need this and this. It probably will be fine without it. So, objects, dismantle object, and materials, dismantle wall. There. That way, one of my guards that's stationed in this area can cover more of that. Okay, we can only have 3500 bucks. Still got to get this shower done. I only have five workers right now. I should probably hire a few more. They do cost money per day, though. I am going to hire them. Five more workmen. Okay. Now I need to do some pathways.
This will speed up movement speed. That also improves the quality of the prison a little bit. I'm going to build some walls here and then close this. Why the heck is there a door there? I have no idea why I put a door there. And you are in the wrong spot, man. Why the heck would I have built that there? And this guard is in the way. I need... Uh, that is just asinine. I, I, have, I have no idea why I put a, a spot there to open that up. And this guard, I gotta get rid of him. Is this guard gonna move? Is this guard glitched? Okay, he's moving now. Okay, paving stone again. Let's uh, dismantle these walls here. The main thing that's going to do is let everybody move faster. They get where they want quicker. Should I hire two more janitors? That's going to help the cleanliness. Okay, let's take a look at our reports and see how we're doing. By the way, I'm going to check the danger level, too. Danger level is low and increasing. Six prisoners have serious complaints. I know what they're upset about. They're upset about the food because I'm messing with their minds right now. Um, okay. So, needs have changed a lot. Now, um, see, they want spirituality. They want clothing. We need a laundry. I'd really like to, uh, okay, I'm going to get uh, $16,000 in 29 hours, and uh, this is in progress, they make nutrition research. Um, I can do three grants at one time if I research this, oh, I already have it, good, I already researched it. Okay, we're going to do a third grant now. Let's find the one that lets us uh, helps us with like a little church or some deal. Or should we do the long-term advancement? It's five thousand. Oh, by the way, look at our money. We're at one hundred eighty-six bucks. Our cash flow is only one hundred eighty-two positive. That's pretty sad. We're getting more prisoners in though every day. Fifteen hundred bucks. I may need to increase the number of prisoners. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Okay. Our capacity right now is 109 prisoners. This is what we have. 37 uh, low-risk prisoners, 8 normal risk, and 1 high risk. 
Um, okay, we can change our intake. See, we got our intake maxed out for medium security. Uh, they give us a uh, minimum security. They give us 300 uh, per prisoner, five per day. We could get 500 if we bring in some mediums. Yeah, I'm gonna start bringing in mediums. Actually, let's go ahead and see how many minimums I can get in. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna bring in like 20. Uh, I could bring in 20 of those per day. That'll be 6,000. Oh, I got lots of beds. Right there. Each one of those take two people. And when I get the money, I'll build another dorm. Let's hook up the rest of these pipes. Someone in chat, hey John, uh, mentioned uh, that more beds are needed. I think I'm okay on beds for right now. Cell block B, what do I need for cell? Okay. It says you can accept more than no more than two grants at one at a time. Use your accountant to raise this limit. I thought I had that unlocked. Let me look over here. Oh, no, I don't. It's going to cost me 500 Okay, I thought I had it unlocked. I was thinking weird. Let's unlock that. It says requires an accountant. Don't I have an accountant? Let's look at our office to see if I have an accountant. There's a foreman. There's one accountant. Do I need one more accountant? Yeah, that's the accountant. See, finance is approved. Do I have to do these in order? Oh, I just don't have 500 bucks right now. I'm at 156. Once I have 500 bucks, I can start researching that. Okay, in the morning, we got a bunch of prisoners come in. Uh, here's our capacity right now. See that? Yeah, I know. I can turn that back down as I get closer to my capacity, John. I'm going to let that run for a few days. Once it starts to fill up, I'll do that. Um, I, I could even, for one day, I could accept 20 prisoners and I could shut it down. But I need the cash. The next big need, after we get past this inmate nutrition research plan, in 26 hours, we're going to get $16,000 too. Is we're going to need to build uh, three things I really want to... Actually, four things. I want to build uh, another kitchen, another uh, canteen, uh, a chapel. And what was the fourth thing? Kitchen, canteen, chapel. And I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> oh, my back, sir. I'm sorry. Oh, ch -ch -ch -ch. We're okay on power. We are going to need more power in the future, though. So 338 uh, in the morning, we're going to have some money coming in. It's probably a good idea to do the inmate nutrition research uh, grant when you don't have a lot of people that are like really, really bad guys. Okay, visitors are lining up at 8 a.m. These guys are waiting for a guard. Do I have a guard stationed here? I do. Can't really afford to hire more guards. So right now we're we're in a holding pattern. Let's go ahead and speed up the timer. Okay. Okay, we're the parole office is. Eight prisoners are up for parole. 
I want to watch this office to see if it works. It should work. Seven prisoners are up for parole. Oh, do I have to research legal or something? Let's go to uh, this over here. Legal. Legal prep. Wow. These are expensive. Micromanagement. Dogs. Taser rollout. Tasers, body armor. Guard towers. Okay, I, I'm wondering why my parole office isn't working. Could somebody do check Wikipedia for prison architect to see if parole offices are bugged? Please. Please, oh please. Okay. Six grand is coming in here in seven hours. Give them a radio. Phone booth. This is a place for the people to relax. Yeah, they might actually want to make calls. Um, John just sent me a tell in Steam. Are you talking about the, the trades in, uh, 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 what's it called? Um, that uh, game that we play, the matching game. I forget what it's called right now. I'm drawing a blank. Okay. I get, they got a radio there. I want to give these guys more sofas and stuff, too. I need my staff to be well rested, so I want them to be as happy as possible. And uh, put a garbage bin in here too. So they feel like it's clean. And a TV. And some chairs. Oh, cool. Do I have a parole officer? I have to hire specifically a parole officer. I'm looking. Workman guard, armed guard doctor, cook gardener janitor, sniper, warden, chief, foreman. Accountant and psychologist. Do they have parole officers? I have Pixel Junk Shooter. The one that I don't have is the other one that's in the bundle. I think I have Pixel Junk Shooter. Yeah, I've got Pixel Junk Shooter, and then there's another one that's like a combat game or something. Let me look real quick. I'm checking Steam. Um, Monsters Ultimate. And then Monsters Ultimate... Isn't Monsters Ultimate a tower defense? 
Yeah, I remember we were talking about this. Yeah, Monsters Ultimate is a tower defense. Every time I think of tower defense, I always recommend to people the Gemcraft, G-E-M-C-R-A-F-T series of games. Highly recommend it. Maybe we'll even play a little bit of that tonight later on. I want to play at least two hours of Prison Architect, though, tonight. At least two. Because I'm really digging it right now. Let me get my Windows back. I am still totally not used to Microsoft Windows 10. And some people really, really like it. I'm glad you like it. Hopefully, I'll like it eventually, too. Uh, could you just tell me what you saw, Rays? Do I have to do anything? Do you have to have a parole officer specifically? Is that something that I have to research? Oh, uh, John, if you buy it and you click, if you click gift... You can, I think you can redeem your own gifts for yourself. So if you want to unlock that for yourself, I think you can. Unless you've already went ahead and bought it again. But I'm, I think that's how gifts work. So if you buy something, put it in your gift inventory. Okay. Yeah, sure. We'd love to do a giveaway for that sometime. Maybe we'll do a giveaway when we... Uh, on... on uh, I don't know. Maybe like on a, a marathon night or something. But yeah, thank you very much for the offer. By the way, uh, guess what I am totally looking forward to? I'm going to say it again now. Some people have been giving it uh, bad vibes. I am so excited about No Man's Sky. The moment they let us download this, we're going to do it. Parole. I wish I knew what to do. I wish to see it still saying seven prisoners up for parole. Could somebody check on uh, parole offices and see what I'm... Actually, let me just look real quick. I'm going to wiki this, guys. Um, prison architect... Parole. Parole room. It requires a parole room and two personnel automatically hired from outside the prison, parole officer and parole lawyer. What am I doing wrong that those haven't appeared? Is there only like maybe like once a week that they do paroles or something? I'm wondering if my 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 office my office is bugged or something. Maybe I have the wrong kind of table. Am I only supposed to have one table? By the way, the uh, one of the wikis says having more than one visitor table in one parole room will not have the effect of allowing multiple parole hearings at once. So let me go ahead and clear this up. Objects. Dismantle. 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 So we're just going to have one here. Hey everybody. That alarm reminds me to uh, end this YouTube video and start the next one. I want to thank everybody for watching. Everybody on Twitch, stay with us. Everybody on YouTube, please rate, comment, subscribe, and come on by twitch.tv slash stickyhamster. And you guys in chat, if you'd like to ever visit my uh, YouTube channel, uh, just go ahead and go to I am Sticky Hamster, all one word, on YouTube, or type exclamation point YouTube in uh, Twitch chat. Be right back with the next video. Okay, we got it paused. Good. <laughs>